morning everyone oh i thought that was a ghost anyways good morning everybody it has been a while since i picked up my camera it's been a while it's been like five weeks i've just i've been really busy as you can see i'm fully fully brunette but i'm actually going back next week to diet lighter again because i don't like it i don't like it as much as i thought i would mm. It looks nice up right here, like on camera, but like when it's down, I just feel like I'm too pale for it. Also, the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, it's turning like a purpley red, so I need to go dye that again. I kind of tidied up the house a little bit. It's nice and clean, but what isn't clean is my makeup collection. Oh, also, sorry for like all the background noise. For some reason, every time I want to film, they decide to do work outside. So as I said, I've been just cleaning my house this morning and yesterday and I was like, oh, I feel really productive, really organized. But what isn't clean right now is my makeup collection. Now I'm going to show you the mess on my bed and then I'm gonna show you the mess in these drawers of where I keep my makeup and then I'll get back to you. Da -da, mess here, this is for me doing my makeup this morning. I just had the tripod here and then I had my big mirror against my dresser. And I was just doing my makeup there. Usually that is how I like to do my makeup, but yes, I have this mess, these messes. Like look at, no rhyme, no reason. Right now, um, it's just like, there's a freaking pen in here. Why is there a pen in here? It's a mess guys, it's a mess. And I had a few hours to spare. So I figured, you know what? I haven't filmed in a really long time. Let's film a organize my makeup with me. I also have been receiving just like a lot of makeup, like so much makeup, and I've been purchasing some makeup just to like test out because you know I want to wear it for my wedding day and I want to like do something different. So because of that, I have been purchasing a lot of makeup and I've been collecting a lot of makeup that's just like been sent to me um, from different companies. Look at this mess. I'm just covering this because it has my address on it. So I have a crap ton of makeup there. I have some boxes here that I haven't even opened yet. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of makeup. Um, and I have a package coming today from Charlotte Tilbury, so there's that. But yeah, as you guys can see, lots and lots of new makeup bits that I haven't tried yet. So I just figured like, let's organize it now because I did wanna make another video, maybe after this video, of just like me testing out new makeup that I've never tried before. I have all of that makeup in there that I need to go through and I need to clear out. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> I look crazy. Okay, <laughs> so drawers are out so i'm just gonna go through each drawer and see what i'm keeping see what i'm getting rid of i don't think i'm gonna give actually away any makeup this time a lot of the makeup is probably expired if i'm being honest um i just haven't had time to like clear it out and yeah i'm gonna be really really brutal on myself so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start from the bottom drawers and then i'm gonna work my way up so starting with the bottom drawer is all of my nail polishes and I have quite a few, but I don't need all of these. So I'm gonna pick through them and keep some and get rid of the others that I just haven't used in a few months, just because I'm pretty sure a lot of them are dried out and I don't need them. are all of the nail polishes I decided to keep and these are the ones I am completely getting rid of just because they're old or I don't use them so after this drawer the next drawer up is just like perfumes and then some extra like jewelry it's I kind of Kind of call these like my special jewelry pieces like these are like not everyday pieces for me and then i just have my perfumes um i don't have all of my perfumes here some of them are actually just chilling like in my closet um, but these are kind of like special perfumes and this drawer is pretty organized in my eyes <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave that drawer like that in the next drawer i just have oh look one random perfume hello let's put you down here Let's put you down here. 
And then in this drawer, I just have some Zoella makeup and nothing else. So let's take that out. And I'm gonna give this drawer a cleaning. Um, I just have some all-purpose spray. And we're gonna clean this up, make it nice and clean for whatever we plan on putting in here later. In the next drawer, I have a lot of lipstick. So this is the lipstick drawer. There are a couple here that I do need to like get rid of. Like, look at that, it's already like breaking apart. So we're gonna get rid of some of these. Some of these are actually still good. Like I still actually use a lot of these and they haven't reached their 12 month period yet. And some of these in here just need to go. So we're gonna clean this drawer out next. Okay, first things first. We have this acrylic case. I love putting my makeup in acrylic cases, by the way. They just feel like so much more organized. So um, in here I have some lip pencils, some glosses and mini like travel lipsticks. Um, some random melted like Too Faced lipsticks that I don't have many of and then some more random lipsticks. So let's clear this out. So some of these are unopened, which is nice because I'll just keep those. But some of these I don't wear anymore. So there's no point in keeping them. Okay, so from that pile, this is all I kept. A lot of these I got like during Christmas as like gifts or are completely packaged and I know for sure I haven't opened yet. Like you see, they're still in the packaging. So those are good still. Now we have this pile and something tells me all of these are gonna have to go for sure. I know these four are still good. Well, I know these I've had for a while now. I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, look, these are all from like my ColourPop days. I know these are, some of these are still good. Some of these are not. Obviously you can tell by like the smell of them. Sometimes like the chemicals break down, smell like this one. I know this one's an oldie. Breaking down, have to go. I know some people like will keep the makeup and just like collect it which is totally fine, but like, I want to use my makeup. I want it to be there because I'm gonna use it. So if I can't use it, like get rid of it. All right, so from all of those, these are the ones I kept and those are the ones I got rid of. We're gonna go on to this pile. Oh my God, this used to be my favorite primer. I've actually, st I haven't used this in like probably a year now, but this, like when I first started my channel, Holy crap, this was like my holy grail. I recommend giving it a go if you ever have a chance to. These are the Gigi Hadid Maybelline lipsticks. Just taking a look at them. Yeah, these are bad. Ooh, these are really bad. Who else checks their lipsticks now after that whole freaking scandal? <laughs> now with every lipstick, I'm like, which you should be. You should be concerned about what you put on your face. Anyway. Now I have this little case right here. I know damn well all of these are probably not good anymore. This drawer was probably like random liquid lipsticks. We're gonna get rid of all of those. We have a lot of ColourPop pressed eyeshadows. Do these ever like go out? I'm sure they do. So shiny, but I can already like feel it, like they're very, it, they feel like oily. They smell a little funny. I got some good use out of them, but they had to go. So now I have this beautiful acrylic case and I think I'm gonna put all of my Charlotte Tilbury stuff in there. So I'm gonna keep that on the side for now. And that's all that's in the drawer now. And all of that down below is garbage. Pity. Oh, all I see is dollar signs. When you have a YouTube channel, it's in the nature of what you do. You test the makeup, you get it. Still like really, shameful and embarrassing to see it like how much makeup I am getting rid of right now. It's just making me like more aware of what I'm putting my money towards. It makes me realize like maybe I should use my makeup a lot more often um, and not stick to like the same five products because then, you know, it just all goes to waste and that's such a shame. Okay, so the next drawer I have is an eye palette drawer. It's this one up here. I just slowly started taking some palettes out. These I actually will hold on to a little bit longer just because a lot of these I haven't even tried. 
I have like a few Juvia palettes. I have some classics like the Tartlet palette, the Lorac Mega 3 palette. This is another one I probably haven't even touched yet. A lot that I got for Christmas, like this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, a lot of Bad Habit palettes. These I got in PR packages, so I did not pay for these. Um, but I've done a few videos like with these guys. The brunch date palette, which I have on my eyes today. Oh my God, do you guys remember when this palette came out? The Naked um, Heat palette. Oh my God, this was like one of my favorite palettes to use. Um, these are one of the Lorac palettes. Look at it. Such pretty colors. I think I dipped into this once. An Ish palette lip palette I haven't even touched. I threw out a few of them. I'm gonna keep a few. Okay, so so far these are all of the palettes I decided to keep. Now moving on to the next drawer. We just have some random things in here like some fake nails. I don't need these right now, so I'm just gonna like get rid of those. I do also just have some sunglasses and like faux glasses in here. Probably one of my favorite accessories ever. So let's just leave those there for right now. These I used for like blushes. Um, all of these can literally go in the garbage. So these are really, really old. So let's get rid of those so that we don't get an infection. More really old lipsticks that I don't use anymore. And it looks like a travel bag that I used and took with me and never emptied. So let's go through that too. This was never full. Like this has always been just like my random lipstick pile. Um, but we don't use this anymore so we can get rid of these because they are definitely really expired by now. Moving down to the last two drawers. It's a mess. My drawers are clean. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly give you a rundown of everything that's in my drawers now. Bottom one, nail polish. Second one, some random jewelry that I typically wear occasionally, and then all of my perfumes. Empty drawer. Liquid lipsticks and any kind of lip products. Palettes that I like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Some more eye palettes as well as any blush or bronzing products. Foundations, concealers, and body products. Some eye products, so we have some lashes, some liners, brow products, and mascara. And then all of my brushes. I need to clean this entire drawer and my sponges, but that is another day. So those are all of my brushes and sponges. As you can see, I downgraded a crap ton. Um, but remember and keep in mind, I still have all of these things over here to go through. Holy crap. That is a lot of makeup. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here because I need to run out. I'm just gonna put my drawer back where it belongs and call it a day. As for the makeup on here, I will be testing that out most likely in my next video. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click on that notification bell so that you guys know when I upload. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed my clearing out my makeup day video. I don't know what I'm gonna call this yet, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing me clear out so many years of makeup. You know, basically I've had held on to that stuff since I started my channel. Um, but yeah, it's time to make room for the new. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys again in my next one. 